Hello, uh, this is Dennis Mike, and the purpose of this brief video is to just demonstrate how you add uh, voice narration and sound uh, to PowerPoint. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show the process really quickly and ask those of you who already know how to do this to stick with me and not bail on the, the uh, uh, on the presentation because at the end or, or, or maybe kind of closer to the middle when I'm talking about certain features uh, I'm going to be talking about the advantages but also the disadvantages and there are one or two really substantial things about PowerPoint that most people don't know when they incorporate audio and video and normally what happens is it ends up biting them on the butt uh, and, you know, that, 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 that's the ultimate result, but the intermediate result is they send their PowerPoint or, you know, to someone who needs to open it or they post it on the web and uh, there's an audio icon and the, the user clicks on that and nothing happens. Uh, that that is very common I would say it's even more common than it actually working so uh, we'll be discussing that but uh, without further ado I'm, I'm sorry for that long-winded uh, introduction uh, let me get down to it uh, so this is a blank PowerPoint the version that I'm using is 2007 uh, I believe that what I'm presenting here uh, could be uh, applied to any version including I believe 2003 but if this is a blank slide, we'll, okay, this is my title, and we'll add a new slide, and this is where I want my voice narration. So, we go to insert. Over here on the right is sound. The chevron below gives the different options for sound. Sound from file, sound from clip organizer, play CD audio track, that would be good for background music, or what we want to do uh, first anyway is record sound. So I hit that and this comes up. Uh, the red button is recording, so uh, let me give that a shot. Uh, this is the sound of my voice, and this sound would accompany this slide. Okay, and uh, let's click on that and hear what we can hear. Uh, again, this is going to be warbly because uh, my microphone is picking up the sound from the speakers. Uh, so there's, uh, it would sound much clearer to an end user, but here we go. Uh, this is the sound of my voice, and this sound would accompany this slide. Okay, uh, and that's it uh, in terms of voice narration. Uh, uh, the advantage of doing voice narration is that the audio file that we just created actually becomes part of the PowerPoint file. So when you convey the PowerPoint file to someone either by email or on a web, uh, you know, a site or, or something like that. Uh, you don't have to worry about, okay, where's the audio file? Do I need to copy it over? Does it need to be in the same directory? As we'll find later on, that becomes an issue uh, for when we incorporate a audio file that already exists, which is what we're going to do now. So we'll do new slide. This will be from an audio file. And, uh, okay, so to embed an audio file, we do the same thing. Insert, same thing up to a point. Uh, hit that chevron again, and then sound from file. And uh, I've already prepared a file for this. I like this song. It's an MP3 file. Uh, so I'm going to incorporate that. And now we have a choice. Uh, we didn't have the choice with uh, narration, but we have the choice now. Uh, do you want the sound to start as soon as someone moves to the slide? Or uh, 
should you wait until the person clicks on it? Uh, and I'm going to go when clicked. So, I'll tell you what, let's play our presentation. It's probably going to ask me to save it. Nope, that's good. Okay. This is my voice narration. Uh, this is the sound of my voice, and this sound would accompany this slide. And here's the other file. Let me talk very briefly about the disadvantage of doing what we just did in PowerPoint. Now, uh, in, in PowerPoint, when you embed your voice, it all, the same thing happens. The, uh, the presentation file itself becomes bigger. But in PowerPoint, when you embed an already existing audio file, it does not become in, embedded within the presentation file. So if you're conveying the presentation to someone else, you need not only to include the audio file as a separate transfer, but you have to ensure that the user knows that that file has to be in the same directory as the presentation file. And that would be a problem even if we only had one audio file, but in some presentations you could have like 20 or 30, uh, in which case it, it would be ridiculously and logistically impractical to do that. So that alone makes uh, PowerPoint a, a kind of awkward tool to use. The other uh, disadvantage is that whenever you use PowerPoint in an online context, you have no control over what the user has on their end, whether or not they've got the same version of PowerPoint as you, if you're a Mac user, whether a PC user or not, and that can make a difference too. So, uh, I'm, I'm not saying PowerPoint is dying, but its its utility as an online tool is very limited, and there are a lot of disadvantages, and I would suggest there are enough kind of online tools like Prezi that uh, it's swinging in the other direction. I'm seeing more and more people using online tools for online instruction and fewer people trying to embed PowerPoint. Have, okay, uh, I'm sorry that took so long. <laughs> so, thanks for listening, and uh, I'll see you later.